called Jeu de Pomme, Game of Hand, Game of Palm. Then rackets were introduced. It became known as Royal Tennis because it became um, a really kind of a, a royal um, aristocratic game, um, quite exclusive really. And then it wasn't until about 1865 that lawn tennis was introduced as a way of the growing population being able to play um, racket and ball games. This was far too exclusive for the ordinary person to be um, to, to get involved in. Um, I'm not going to go through all the rules of it, um, but you can start to see this was the very first racket and ball game. So from this came real uh, lawn tennis, squash, badminton, anything with a racket and ball came from this original sport from the 13th century. Um, so you'll see this guy serving. You only serve from this end. You don't serve from the other end. And this is what he's got to do for the service. And that's a pretty good serve. Um, may not have looked a good serve to you, but it was bad. He has to hit the ball across the roof, in t past the red line in the other half of the court for it to be in. And the reason they use that roof is that back in those early days in the monasteries in France, when the monks were beginning to play this in the courtyard in the monastery, there was a walkway around that courtyard where they began to play, and that, court, that walkway was covered with sloping roofs. So the monks used those sloping roofs um, to play their game that, of tennis that they were inventing at the time. So we still obviously play it like that now. So only one service end, this end, so they swap around much more often, and um, they just have to use the roof for service. There are some other oddities which I'm not going to go um, into. Um, it's still played at world championship level, only by four countries, um, America, the UK, France and Australia. Where are the four countries in the world that play lawn tennis Grand Slam tournaments? France. The same four, the same four countries where this is played. So you can see the natural progression from this early form of tennis into the more modern version of lawn tennis. Um, the oldest court in this country um, is in uh, is at Hampton Court, um, and that was built for Henry VIII, who was a great player of this sport. Um, and the records show that he never ever lost a game. Um, <laughs> Uh, 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 you probably know. You probably know why, um, because he was the king, and the head would roll if they dared to beat him. Um, but what is absolutely true is that um, Henry VIII, of course, was a very large man physically. He couldn't bend down to pick up the ball himself, so he played with a servant on the side of the court with him. And the job of that servant was to throw the ball to Henry VIII so that he could then serve. And that's where you get the word service from in any racket and ball game. So in lawn tennis, squash, badminton. You start the game with a service, and that word came from Henry VIII's servant, serving the ball to Henry VIII so that he could play this game. That's where it comes from.